What's up y'all today? We're going to be breaking down the Google voice business phone line and whether it's worth it for you and your business. So if that's something that interests you. Be sure you stay tuned. Now, one of the first things I typically recommend to folks, especially if they're doing any sort of sales is getting a business phone line that actually is separated from your regular phone number. The issue that usually comes in is you try to, whenever you're starting, obviously we all try to save as much cost as we can, right? But one of the mistakes that's made is people start by using their regular phone number, right? You're just kind of getting off your feet. So you figure, you know what, let me just use my regular number. And then eventually I'll move over to a different, you know, I'll get a business phone and all that stuff. But what typically happens is you stick on to that number for so long that now there's all these people who have your phone number who can reach you at any time. You see, when you're just using your personal number, people can call you at two in the morning if they want. They can call you at 11 p.m. at night. It doesn't matter. They're always going to be able to give you a phone call and reach you at your phone. Whereas with business phone lines, they'll typically even let you go as far as setting office hours, right? Periods of time when the calls can actually get through to you to the phone. The dope thing about that is if it's a situation where you, let's say your office hours are nine to five and they call at six, then that means it's going to go straight to a voicemail. That way you can reach out to them that following day. But it kind of helps you separate your business life from your personal life and kind of make sure that you're not overwhelming yourself by always being on the clock, always being working. So for me, that's the huge part, right? You just being able to have some sort of peace of mind, right? Some sort of like ability to take a break and kind of step away from the work. And that way, when you come back, you're coming back more refreshed. So that's why I always think it's big that you have a business phone line, especially if you're doing the sales, but even customer service, if you want for your clients to be able to reach you directly or just in general. Now, when it comes to the Google Voice for Business, it's a phone system that enables small businesses to be able to just manage their phone communications with customers and clients extremely easily. Now, one of the pros is gonna be the easy setup. Just setting up Google Voice for Business is a quick and a straightforward process, right? They try to make it as simple as possible. It's really not gonna require pretty much any technical expertise and the systems can be up and running in just within a few minutes. Now they purposely do that, right? To make it where you're literally just have to essentially download an app on your phone and then boom, your phone line's pretty much up and running. So that's one of the dope things about it, right? They make it extremely easy to get off the ground. Another great feature is the low cost. You're gonna see that the Google Voice for Business is pretty cost effective in terms of an option compared to the traditional phone systems, right? If you're trying to get a phone plan with Verizon, right? Or Sprint, you're trying to get Verizon business or Sprint business, things like that. More of the bigger cell phone companies, you're going to see that they're going to pretty much charge you an arm and a leg compared to what you're going to be able to get when you're working with a voice over IP phone plans like this Google voice plan. Now they give you free local calls and low cost international calls as well, which it can be extremely beneficial if you're someone who you have clients overseas or you're having to talk with people all over the world. Another thing is it integrates extremely easily with other Google products. So if you're already using, for example, I use the Google suite or the Google workplace as they call it now, you know, so I'm able to get, I'm able to use, you know, I use the Google meets, I use Gmail of course, and things like that. So this integrates completely with all of those. So it just makes it for you pretty much have one platform to manage your email, your voice calls, your video calls, all of that, right? Now, what are some of the negatives, right? Some of the negatives are gonna be the limited customization. You're gonna see that even though Google Voice has a decent range of features, it's not gonna be as customizable as what you would see with other voice over IP systems. Some of which I've talked about and I'll go ahead and link to them down below so you can actually see those videos as well. Now, businesses may not be able to even customize things as small as like having your hold music, right? Or whether you want call routing options to the same extent as what you're going to be able to do with other systems. Another thing is you're not going to be able to have any sort of toll free numbers. Now, if you're a business that's looking to have a toll free number, you won't find it here, unfortunately. Okay. You're not going to be able to really get access to those unless you go to other types of voice over IP companies, right? Google voice specifically has decided to stay away from the toll free numbers for whatever reason. Now, besides that, they're also going to have pretty limited features. It's similar to the customizations. It's just, you know, you're not going to be able to do things that let's say if you wanted to have sort of call center capabilities, that's going to be a lot tougher for you to do, especially if you're on an introductory plan, right? You're not going to have things like call recording, just capability that you would expect to have if you were trying to run, if you were pretty much trying to set up almost like a call center type of atmosphere. Now, one of the dope things is this is one of the cheaper plans that I've seen when it comes to pricing the plans start as low as 10 dollars a month per user okay the lowest i've seen is 14 dollars a month which is uh is going to be with phone.com but these guys are actually going down as far as 10 dollars, which is pretty dope now in conclusion guys i think that this isn't a bad plan if you just need 
a bare bones business phone plan. But if I'm being completely honest, guys, especially if you're in the US, you know, I think that this offering is sort of in an awkward middle situation because one, they don't have enough features to compare to a phone.com that charges just an extra $4. But there's a free option available that essentially does the same thing, which is Google Voice, right? The personal plan. So that's what I think makes it kind of tough for these guys and probably why you haven't seen a lot of people talk about using this plan is because you can essentially use the Google Voice plan, the Google Voice personal plan, which is completely free. And then once you're ready, upgrade to a phone.com, for example, that's gonna give you for $14, a bunch more features than you'd be able to get with just a Google Voice business first tier, right? The lower tier package of $10. So that's pretty much the gist of it, guys. Check out my other business phone line videos that I'll link to down below, as well as I'll throw it up here so you can take a look at that as well. Make sure also that you comment down below uh, if you have any other video ideas you want me to shoot or what you think about this plan or the Google Voice business plan as well, guys. Now, I appreciate you guys watching. Be sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you at the next one. Peace.